Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will explain the examination of patients with mandibular fractures. As with any injury, a thorough assessment requires history, physical examination, and radiologic imaging. The cause of the mandibular fracture is essential because it may indicate fracture type and severity. A blow to the mandibular angle will likely to cause a fracture of that angle and a potentially a contralateral fracture of the body or symphysis. Similarly, impact on the chin would lead to suspect a fracture in the symphysis area or a condylar fracture or both. A motor vehicle accident or a gunshot wound would lead to one to suspect communication. Timelines, that is the duration between the injury and seeking treatment is essential. Studies have shown that the earlier antibiotics can be instituted, the less chance of infections developing in the fracture. A delayed presentation may therefore increase the likelihood of infection. The location of swelling will help identify the location of the fracture. Male occlusion is one of the most sensitive indicators of mandibular fractures. It may be visible to the clinician and evident to the patient. This case exhibit an obvious male occlusion caused by a fracture between, by, between the left canine and the lateral incisor. Unilateral hyperocclusion and contralateral open bite usually indicate uh, an epsilateral condylar fracture. Uh, the occlusion in this case, you can see uh, this occlusion shows premature contact on the right side with the deviation of the jaw to the affects, affected side, uh, commonly seen with, with the right uh, mandibular condylar fracture. The bilateral uh, condylar fractures with shortening and dislocation result in an inferior open bite with minimal deviation of the midline. An interior open bite usually indicates either bilateral condylar or bilateral angle fractures. Bilateral cross bite may indicate a combination of symphysis and bilateral condylar fractures. A sublingual hematoma or other intraoral hematomas may indicate underlying bony fractures. Intraoral laceration, that is intraoral lacerations of the gingiva, usually indicates an underlying fracture. Loose teeth may or may not be associated with bony fractures. Numbness of the mental nerve is a sensitive indicator for a fracture through the mandibular area where the inferior alveolar nerve forces. Deviation of the mandible on opening usually indicates a fracture of the uh, mandibular condyle on the deviation side. Preauricular pain may indicate a condylar process fracture or intraarticular hematomas. Mobility across tooth bearing regions indicates a fracture. Keep in mind that any fracture passing through the tooth bearing area is considered an open or a compound fracture. Thank you. Have a nice time.